Good morning, everyone. You're welcome to Open Heavens Devotional Review for today, Friday, the 9th of July, 2021. I'm Kay in the Magic Kojumi. Open Heavens is authored by Adadin the Lord Pastor E.A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Open Heavens is a guide to a close fellowship with God. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for a new day and a new dawn. We say, Blessed be your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that as we learn at your feet today, you'll give us the understanding of your word, and your word will indeed illuminate our lives, and the wonder working power of your word will find expression in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our topic for today is a timely offering. A timely offering. Our memory verse is taken from Genesis 27 verse 20. And Isaac said unto his son, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. A Bible reading is taken from Genesis 27 verse 20 to 33. And Isaac said unto his son, How is it that thou hast found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because the Lord thy God brought it to me. And Isaac said unto Jacob, Come near, I pray thee, that I may feel thee, my son, whether thou be my very son Esau or not. And Jacob went near unto Isaac his father, and he felt him, and said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are the hands of Esau. And he discerned him not, because his hands were hairy, as his brother Esau's hand, so he blessed him. And he said, Art thou my very son Esau? And he said, I am. And he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's venison, that my soul may bless thee. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat, and he brought him wine, and he drank. And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near now, and kiss me, my son. And he came near, and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord had blessed. Therefore, God give, thee, give to thee dew of heaven and the fatness of the earth and the plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee, the nations bow down to thee, be Lord over thy brethren and let thy mother's son bow down to thee. Cursed be every one that cursed thee, and blessed be he that blessed thee. And it came to pass, as soon as Isaac had made an end of blessing Jacob, and Jacob saw, ja and Jacob saw yet scarce gone from the presence of Isaac his father, that Esau his brother came in from his hunting, he and he also made savory meat. And brought it unto his father, and said unto his father, Let my father arise and eat of his son venison, that my soul may bless, that that may, your, thy soul may bless me. And Isaac his father said unto him, Who art thou? And he said, I am thy son, thy firstborn Esau. And Isaac trembled very exceedingly, and said, Who, who's, where, who, where is he? that had taken venison and brought it me, and have eaten of it all before thou camest, and have blessed him, yea, and he had been blessed. May the Lord bless the reading of his words in our heart in Jesus' name. Amen. The message. When Isaac asked Esau to prepare a delicious meal of venison, deer or antelope meat for him, to eat so that he could pray for him, Rebekah took advantage of the short distance between Jacob's tent and his flock, ensuring that the dish was prepared and the blessing stolen from Esau before Esau returned. The quick response worked to the advantage of Rebekah and Jacob. One lesson to learn from the events that happened shortly before Jesus' crucifixion is the gesture of the woman who anointed his feet with oil, Luke 7, 37-38. It was timely. Many of us are too slow when it comes to giving offering to God or doing good to our neighbors. Many times, our so-called kind gestures are belated. I shared a need of a church with one of my sons, and instead of promptly meeting it because 
of his urgency, he said he would go and pray about it. The following week when he came, ready to meet the need, God had already raised somebody else to solve the issue. He felt bad about it. What a lesson. Some people criticized the woman at Bethany for wasting the anointment, the ointment instead of selling it to provide for the poor. Jesus rebuked them saying, she had done what she could. She is come afore her to anoint my body for the burial. Mark 14 verse 8. By the time the same woman, along with another and Jesus' mother, came to anoint the body of the Lord after his death, it was be a belated gesture. Jesus had risen. Thankfully, Mary Magdalene had given her sacrifice before it was too late. We must always be ready to do good according to Galatians 6 verse 10. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. May the Lord grant you the grace and wisdom to offer your gifts at the time acceptable unto him in the mighty name of Jesus. May your gift or sacrifice to God never be considered late by him. May the Lord never have cause to raise someone else in your stead in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic once more is a timely offering. A timely offering. So in as much as it is very good to give offering unto the Lord as we receive blessing as a result of this blessing, it is also very crucial and important that the offering is timely. That it is not given when it is too late or we did not decide to do that offering when it is too late as whoever wants to do, does that when it is late can actually be replaced. Somebody else might have been raised to do the same. May we not be replaced in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Just like the Bible reading we read today of the account of Isaac, Jacob, is and Isaac and Rebekah, Isaac asked Esau to prepare a delicious meal for him so that his soul could bless him. But what happened? We're told that Rebekah took advantage of the short distance between Jacob's tent and his flock. She quickly told him that my son go and prepare the meal. And what happened? And he received the blessing instead of Esau. Like uh, it was coined in today's devotion that the quick response worked to the advantage of Rebekah and Jacob. Jacob did not hesitate. He did not try to reason it out or argue it as that might be too late. But then it, it took action immediately and he got the blessing instead of Esau. We are also told of the woman Mary Magdalene who prepared, who was preparing Jesus for his for the crucifixion. She did the, you know, by, by pouring ointment on him, by anointing his feet with oil. And Jesus Christ also said it in Mark 14, verse 8, that she had done what she could. She's come aforehand to anoint my body for the bearing. Even though people criticized her and criticized her for what she did, that why would she use such an expensive oil just to anoint the feet of Jesus? But Jesus kept them quiet. And thank God she did it like we read today. Had it been she didn't do it, it would have been late. Because that same Mary and with another woman and Jesus' mother went to the graveyard of Jesus after his death to anoint him. But what happened? It was too late. It was a belated gesture because Jesus had risen. Thankfully, Mary Magdalene had done a sacrifice. And even up till date, just like Jesus said it, we still read of our account. Her name will never be forgotten. And she, she received a blessing because she did it at the right time. So like I said earlier on, and just like the topic, a timely offering. It is very crucial when giving offering to ensure that it is timely. It is done quickly and it is timely so we can receive the blessing that comes from it. And that he also gave an account of a man who he, he, he shared a need of the church with. And my son, this is the need. We have so, so, so and so need. But the man told him he wanted to go and pray about it. 
and what happened before he could he would return the next week to tell him that okay I'm okay and I'm, I want to go with it and I'm ready to do what you want me to do. It was too late because God had raised somebody else in his stead to resolve the issue. He felt very bad about it and that is a lesson to learn. When we are told to give in church, if, if, you know, to do good, just like we're told that, it's, that many of us are too slow when it comes to giving offering. Many people are too slow when it comes to giving offering to God or to our neighbor. And it is very important that we are always ready to do good. The book of Galatians says, what it says as we have therefore opportunity, let us good unto, do good unto all men, especially unto them that are of the household of faith. So for every, every opportunity that we have, the resources that we know we have the capacity, the capability to do that good, it is crucial that we do it on time so that our blessing will not be, it will be acceptable and it will not be considered late by God. Just like the blessing of Esau. Yes, Esau eventually gave, he, he prepared his delicious meal quite all right. But it was belated. It was too late because somebody else has done it. May we not be replaced. May the Lord not raise someone else in our favor in our stead in the name of jesus christ and the grace and the wisdom to offer the gifts that will be timely and acceptable the lord will give unto us in the mighty name of jesus amen the action point for today identify areas of need in the church and your neighborhood decide to meet as many of such needs as you can before it is too late Let's meet every need that we have the capacity to meet on time before it is too late. And the Lord will bless us in return in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much for listening. God bless you. Amen. Praise to Lord. Hallelujah.